Hello, and welcome to the Price Tag Maker software. You got to this screen from the previous one by selecting Guest Mode. We made this short tutorial to help you answer a few questions many of you might have had about using the software. Without any further wait, let's go over it real quick and uh, make this as painless as possible. This is your start screen. From here you provide most of your searches. You can search by your product, by a vendor, look up, you can even choose uh, categories. By changing the category here, or changing the vendor here, it'll um, sort these lists right here. Clicking on the little button will take you right to that record. If you click in the box, enter the model number, and just hit search, it'll take you right to the product. Making retagging pricing um, very simple. You're gonna notice that everything on the left-hand side matches the right hand side meaning that you got your product ID or SKU number you have your vendor ID you have product title you have your R price regular price now you'll notice the descriptions here you can enter this on any of the screens um, it does show up on the back of the tag not the front of the tag try to keep this as short as simple um, it'll help and I'll explain why in a few moments here so down here on the tag, you're gonna see a little corner, a little icon. If you just click that bottom right-hand corner, it takes you to the back of the tag. You'll notice that we've given you three features. As you type those in, you'll notice them right here. Again, just enter them in here, shows up there, and you can do it on the tag as well. So now we have the, the footer tag note. Now we put financing available, but just as a little uh, hack, you can put a short URL like a bit.ly or a Google short link. And let me explain why you'd want to do that. A lot of customers don't have a barcode scanner and they'll enter in the short URL into their phone to be taken wherever you want them to go to. And let's explain this real quick. This is a QR code. You scan this with your phone to be taken to wherever you want. Whatever's in this box is what this QR code will perform. So for instance, if you wanted to send them to, let's say, PayPal, so when they, um, excuse me, so uh, when they scan the QR code or enter the short URL, they'll actually check out right on their phone. A lot of the furniture dealers that we have, um, they've been actually putting the link from their website product page on the price tag that way they could take the offline to the online and have a seamless transition for the customer to shop right there on their floor um, again so just real basic if you click on the bottom right hand corner it'll take you back to the front of the tag now you're going to see a couple options here new tag will make a brand new price tag and print will print out the price tag it does print on a standard piece of paper um, you just have to fold it twice and then it fits in any 5 inch envelope which you could readily find online. Let's go over some of the features of this. It, again, if it was just making price tags that would be fantastic. But we put a couple features in here for you. We have price check, promotion, inventory, and search. Search is the screen we start on. So whenever you need to look up a tag real quick when you're retagging something, just hit the search and you're on your way. Now. Let's go over these. So we got price check. On the right hand side, it'll pull up, um, this is Google Shopping. So it'll pull up the item in Google Shopping and you can scroll and see what other competitors are pricing and charging for the same item. So to make sure you're very, very competitive. You'll see up here at the top, it tells you what the difference is from your competitors. Clicking on here will take you to Amazon Shopping. Again, Craigslist. We also can enter in any URL here for your competitor. When you click that, that way you can look at their site and make sure that your prices, again, are competitive. I don't need to explain to you why, but customers uh, nowadays have more information and tools at their disposal, so it makes it very easy for them to shop you. Okay, clicking on the button will take you to the price tag. Let's scroll down. The next button is promotion. Now you're going to notice a few things in here. Um, let's go over this real quickly. You got your title, your price, your image source. Now what this means is this is an actual URL to an image. That means it ends in .jpg, 
.png .gif. That's an image. Here's your link. Keep your description very short. The reason I say that is because, like Twitter, when you click this button, you'll send out a tweet, and when you do that, it has a limited character spaces, so you want to keep it short. Clicking the Pinterest button again will pin it on your Pinterest board or share it on your Facebook. That way, as soon as you create a price tag, you can start promoting it. On the right-hand side is Craigslist. Again, clicking these little click to copy will just copy whatever is in that box, and you can just click on the ad and just copy, paste, copy, paste back and forth and making creating ads very simple. We've given you tons of options at the top to post your furniture ads. And like I said, create the price tag and automatically promote it. It makes life a little easier. Click on return to price tag. One of our final options is inventory. Now I won't spend too much time on this. This is very self-explanatory. You have your initial inventory level and your reorder level. Using the plus and minus signs down here, you can increase your showroom quantities warehouse and sold so makes it a little bit easy to do that on the right hand side there is an app for Android um, it is free there is free and very inexpensive apps out there for um, nowadays you can use your phone as your barcode scanning system so just keep that in mind it's very simple and easy to do let's go over how you create a barcode now by hovering over it'll give you a message but just to show you real quick scroll down here we select code 39 is the one we prefer and you just enter your SKU or model number here once you've done that you just hit show barcode give this little thing a second here there it goes and all you have to do is click and hold and drop this right onto the little box to change the um, barcode or you can right click and select copy and then go over here right click and paste so you can do that as well let me just show you one other feature real quick um, before we wrap up let me just go back here return to price tag okay this is the image on the top now you can use any image you want so basically we've just given you a default sample one but any image that you find online that you want to use like your logo um, another if you have people who are prone to Photoshop or can make you some images. I did an image search for price tags and found tons of different headers for like Christmas, Halloween, different events. All you have to do, and when you mouse over this it shows you, is you right click, insert picture, and you just select the picture you want. It'll automatically resize it and, and it'll try to fit it in as best as it can in the box. How you see the tag here is how it's going to look printed. So I hope that helps out. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Again, thank you and have a good day.